All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 21. And in this lesson, we are really, uh, the, the idea of this lesson is best summarized by saying it's essentially a number talk. And if you don't know about number talks, please check out uh, number talks. Um, uh, look up daily number talk. Uh, dailynumbertalks.info is a great resource for number talks. And the idea of a number talk is you give students a problem and you solve it, and allow the students to come up with as many different strategies for solving that one problem as possible. Let students compare and contrast methods. Let them share their ideas. It's really uh, essentially what Lesson 21 is all about. It would be really cool if you could uh, teach in a way in your class where you have a, uh, maybe three times a week a procedure where you do number talks, uh, which would almost make Lesson 21 unnecessary because you do number talks all the time. When students share a method that you're not quite ready to get to, you, it's great. You celebrate the kid who used a method that you haven't gotten to yet, and then you consider it a, a preview for the rest of your students. They're like, I don't quite get it, but I'll see it, and I'll see it again and again as the kid keeps re sharing that one strategy until you finally, as a teacher, get to that lesson where you're teaching that strategy, and the kids are like, isn't that what Lisa has been teaching us all along? And you say, yeah. So that's a number talk. Uh, and that's really what Lesson 21 is. So let's get going on that. So we have a fruit bowl. It had 13 apples. Mike ate six. And how many apples are left? And the idea is we have this list of strategies over here that we get to choose from. And we're going to look at Olivia's and Jake's method and try and identify the strategy that they're using. Uh, parents and teachers, if a student, one of your students can't quite understand whether Olivia's method is one of these four methods, that's all right. Go ahead and differentiate this lesson and ask the student, well, solve 13 minus 6 on your own using your own method, and tell me which one you think you use. That's perfectly fine as well. It is not essential um, for a, you, one of your students to be able to identify uh, which strategy Jake and Olivia used. We do, however, want your students to recognize which strategy they themselves use, and that's a, a much more important thing. So the idea is Olivia, clearly she's using decomposition, so she's using the take from 10 strategy, take from 10. However, it looks like she messed up because we see that 10 minus 6 is 4, but she forgot to add in that original 3 that was part of the 13. So really the answer should be 4 plus 3, which is 7, not the four that she got. So uh, if we wanted to, we could make it look a little bit nicer. We could say, okay, here's our decomposition, 3 and 10, and then we can see that 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 plus the original 3 gives us 7. All right. Uh, so that's the take from 10 strategy. Jake is a little bit trickier. His is the count on method, because I'm going to show you a, like kind of like a the number line. So we see that Jake starts at 6 and that Jake adds 4 to get to 10 and then he adds the remaining 3 to get to 13 because our goal is to get to 13 because our problem is 13 minus 6. So that's basically saying um, if you're going to start at 6, what do you need to add to it to get to 13? And so we can see that Jake says, well, if you start at 6 and add 4, you get 10, plus 3 more, you get to 13. So that means 4 plus 3 is 7. And that's why he's got that 4 plus 3 thing. And that's why he's showing us that the answer is 7. He used the count on method. And that wraps up first grade module two, lesson 21, which is really um, a number talk. And I would love it if you as a parent or a teacher could introduce the concept of a number talk 
to your students and make that a, a routine in your classroom, maybe three days a week. And what that might do is that might even make some of your lessons unnecessary because your students have come up with the strategies in their number talk, sharing the ideas with all of your other students, making future lessons unnecessary because your kids already taught themselves how to do it. 